this is Jeremy the Jedi Guillory here again and um, if you remember from one of my earlier videos I said that I'm um, single and looking I currently reside in Utah um, I'm from I moved here from Texas about almost a year ago and um, I just want to share with y'all the well the overall reason why I'm single is because of my uh, me moving from Texas to Utah but I've also had a pretty rough relationship history which I'm going to share with you um Pretty much, probably some of my ex-girlfriends are going to be watching this video, but, oh well. Who cares? Um, I probably should address them by first name only, if they don't mind, but, no, I could easily number it, one, two, seven, but, oh well. First one. Morgan. One week, she was going to be my date to Sadie Hawkins' dance. Two days before the dance, we were at lunch. My arm was around her. her. All seemed well. She gets up to go somewhere, mainly to get some food. And as I was moving my arm, Rachel friend of ours, Rachel, comes up, takes her spot, and basically she makes me keep my arm around her and tell her, hey, I have a girlfriend, okay? So lay off. And she said, um, I don't care. And she kissed me right in front of Morgan. Next Pretty much the next day we mutually broke off due to other reasons. But many people thought it was because of that incident right there. Um, about two weeks later I hooked up with Rachel which was the worst idea ever because she caused me to break up with Morgan, but still, it lasted three days, and it's been on and off to an extent throughout the three years I was living there. And the reason why, the main reason why the three-day relationship broke off was because she had a boyfriend, Rick, right before me, and um, the reason why she broke up with me was because she still had feelings for him. I respected that. Um, broke her, Rachel's sexy hot twin sister. Um, I would rather not go into any details with that. It's been, it was on and off, and um, basically what would be going on is right when one got tired of me, the other one would hook up with me, you know. Not that bad. But, you know, after a while you get tired of it. NG. Well, basically, not long. I mean, when you... Here's a good note. You date a girl for a while. And you like her and things. And then she comes up to you and says that she's pregnant. With your baby, you know, you get mixed feelings about it. I mean, guys, you know how it is. Girl comes up to you and says that she's expecting your child. But, you know, there's a few problems with that. One, I'm still a virgin. Two, um, you know... Here's number two. You don't remember... I don't recall ever having sex with her. Okay? 
Okay. Um. But as it turned out, she wasn't pregnant. But if she was, she would have had a black child because it turns out she was cheating on me. Um. We. The. Number five, Savannah. Um. The overall time was three weeks. It's pre Wednesdays were always the major conflict day of each week. Week one. Rachel again tried to hook up back up with me. But I ignored her. She spread rumors around the school. In retaliation. And then we two, she and Trader spread rumors around about Savannah having sex with one of my friends. And it caused me to have a small conflict in one of my activities. Um, third week, all went well all the way until Friday. Where she came up to me and said that she started having feeling for feelings for other girls. So she basically became a lesbian. And, you know, it's kind of hard. Jordan, number six. This one lasted two months. Longest relationship. Mutual breakup. And basically went down on April Fool's Day but just to be sure it was right um to make it fit sure we also made it public on April 2nd that way people won't be thinking oh it's an April Fool's joke you know I mean never break up with the girl on April Fool's Day. Okay. Okay. Especially when she says. Don't talk. You were never there for me. It's over. I'm pregnant in April Fool's. And walks off. Okay. You don't know. Exactly which one is. The. Um, April Fool's joke. Okay. Okay. Mm. Carla. Who's number seven? I'm not sure how long the relationship lasted. Um, we met basically was Stan Jordan, but um, I did not want to cheat on her, which pretty much didn't. I mean, by this time I was about ready to break up with Jordan anyway, but. No, who cared? Um, she was about to be my prom date, but was grounded and was hoping to go with her friend as a backup, which she recommended. I didn't really, but she did. But her friend Michelle had to go to San Antonio for a funeral or whatever on prom weekend. So I had to go to prom alone but still that was the last pretty much the last official well in a way that was unofficial the last official girlfriend I had was Jordan but who cares um yeah you know I'm probably almost out of time now so thanks for watching Thank you and goodbye. Jedi out.